Hi and welcome to Gaffey's Grinds. My name is Mr. Gaffey and this is video five in our series on cells for junior cycle science. So as usual in these videos, we take topics from junior cycle science, we break them down into small manageable pieces and we do lots of practice to help you master the content. It's really important guys that join these videos that you eliminate any distractions by closing any open tabs and putting your phone on to do not disturb mode. It's also really important that if you want to le actually learn anything from watching these videos that you do the tasks that have been designed to help you master the content. If you're not going to do the tasks, you're not going to learn very much. You're better off heading off and watching a much shorter video, but I promise you're just not going to learn as much like that. Okay, in our previous videos, we've learned about cells and what cells are. So what are cells? On three, I want you to speak your answer to the screen. One, two, three. I'm hoping it said something like this. Cells are the basic, basic building blocks of all substances. And in the last lesson, we learned about specialized cells. Specialized cells are found in multicellular organisms. Those are just organisms that are made of many cells. So what is a specialized cell? So on three, speak your answer to the screen. One, two, three. Okay, I'm hoping you said that a specialized cell is a cell that is specially adapted to carry out a specific job. So specially adapted means it's got some kind of structure or feature which helps it to do its job. So what I'm about to draw here is I am drawing two muscle cells. So I'm drawing two muscle cells. Here is a muscle cell and here is a separate muscle cell. These are two individual muscle cells. Muscle cell, and this is also a muscle cell. And they are specially adapted because they have these special stretchy elastic fibers. So these are stretchy elastic fibers. So that is a feature that they have that make them adapted to the job. I'm just going to color them in a kind of a, a, a ready color because generally muscle tends to be red and that's because the cells that make it up are quite a nice pinky red color. So these are two separate individual cells. Now by themselves, they're not actually able to do very much. So their job we would have learned that the job of a muscle cell is to allow movement, but one cell on its own isn't much good at allowing movement. To do that, we have to do something with them. And that is these two muscle cells have to form into a group or a, a collection. So what I'm doing now is I'm drawing a collection of muscle cells. So here is a collection of muscle cells. So there are five cells here and they are connected together. There's six, seven, and so on. And each of these, as you can see, because they've got the elastic fibers, each one is a muscle cell. So they are all muscle cells. So this is a collection of muscle cells. And together, they form what we call, this is muscle tissue muscle tissue. So a tissue, muscle tissue is a collection of muscle cells. Okay, it's a collection of cells that are very similar. They have similar structure and they have the function together. They work together to contract and relax. To allow movement. So this is the function of the muscle tissue, not move fun, sorry, I don't know what I'm thinking here, movement. Okay, so they contract and relax to allow movement. That is the function of the muscle tissue. The muscle tissue is a group of muscle cells. They're very similar in structure and function and they work together to contract and relax and allow movement. So when we have a group of cells, like these muscle cells here, when we have a group of cells, with a similar structure, because they all have similar structures, and a similar function, because they all work together to allow movement, similar function. We call this, so it's called a tissue. So a group of cells with similar structure and similar function is called a tissue. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and in your notes, wherever you take your notes down, just take a note of this box here. So what is a tissue? So a tissue is a group of cells with a similar structure and function. We call this a tissue. So this is a tissue. I want to pause the video and take a note of what we mean by tissue.
Okay, so you should only be watching the video if you've taken down what's in that box down, what a tissue is. So we've got two muscle cells, separate individual muscle cells. A group of muscle cells is called muscle tissue. So if I was to ask you which one of these is bigger, the answer would obviously be muscle tissue because muscle tissue is made of many muscle cells. So it has to be bigger. I'm now drawing a nerve cell. It's got a cell body with a nucleus. It's got this long, thin body. And then it's got these connections on the end. This here is a nerve cell. I'm now drawing a second separate nerve cell. So this is a se separate separate nerve cell. So this is a second cell, nerve cell. So these are two nerve cells. And when these make a collection, when we've got a group of them, we have a collection of them. So this is a collection of nerve cells. We can then start to make a much bigger structure of these nerve cells, which are connected. You see the way they are connected. So one connection leads to the next. And you can get this long connection of nerve cells or this long group of connected nerve cells. They don't have to always go on a straight line. They can connect, another cell can connect here. And this can allow them to go off in different directions. This here, what I'm drawing this collection of nerve cells is what we call nerve tissue. So this here is nervous tissue. So it's a collection of similar cells with a similar function. So nervous tissue. And the job of nervous tissue is to carry electrical impulses around the body. An electrical impulse is just an electrical message. Now, of course, one cell by itself, one nerve cell by itself would not be able to carry electrical impulses all around the body. It's just too short. So they have to work together. You have to have a group of them to allow the nerves, the messages to be carried over long distances and in different directions. Now, of course, it's the nerve cell itself. It's the structure of each nerve cell that makes it good at doing this. So what adaptations does a nerve cell have on three? I want you to speak your answer on three, please. One, two, three. Okay, I'm hoping you're talking about the long body. So the long body help it to get around the body help messages to get around the body. And also we have insulation. So just like I'm drawing in red here, we have this layer of insulation, which helps the message to travel extra quick. So each nerve cell is insulated, which allows the message to travel very quickly. They also have many connections that we can see on the end, which allows them to basically connect or to, uh, to, yeah, to, interact with other cells, okay? Now, in blue, I'm just gonna write what we know so far. We know that we have the basic building block of all living things are cells. So over here in blue, I'm writing, we have cells. Cells work together and form these groups of structures that we call tissues. So tissue is the next level of organization. So. Cells are the simplest level of organization. Then we have tissues. So cells form tissues. These are two separate epithelial cells. So these are epithelial cells. So this is an epithelial cell and the other one is an epithelial cell. You're gonna say that after me on three, please. Epithelial on three, one, two, three epithelial good and this is how you spell it okay so e sorry yeah e p i t h e l i a l epithelial cell and this here is a second epithelial cell epithelial cells join together into a collection to form epithelial tissue. So what I'm drawing here is epithelial tissue. So this here is a group of cells and each one is connected to another, which is similar in structure and function. So this here 
is epithelial tissue. And the job of epithelial tissue is to cover parts of the body. So it covers parts of the body. So for example, when you have a muscle, like the muscle in your arm, your biceps, we looked at this before, when you have a muscle in your arm, the inside of it will all be muscle cells, but on the outside will be covered with a layer of epithelial tissue. And it just helps to keep all of the cells together and keep the shape of the overall muscle. This is epithelial tissue, covers parts of the body. All right, it's time to do some practice now. Okay, so your practice questions are coming up here now. Okay, so questions one to five, uh, are you have to write out what's here and then finish writing the sentence. So don't just write the ending, write the full sentence. Number six, you have to select which part of the body is tissue that covers, uh, or which of these is tissue that covers parts of the body. And number six, which is bigger, a cell or a tissue, and how do you know? So I want you to, uh, in a second, I'm gonna ask you to pause the video. When I do, in your practice, uh, wherever you're doing your practice questions, you're gonna do these questions one to seven, uh, please, and try your absolute best to do them. Okay, so I want you to pause the video on three, one, two, three. Now you should only be listening to my voice if you have done these first seven questions what I want you to do now please is I want you to get a uh, I want you to get a correct in pen so red or green or purple and we are going to correct them so I am going to get my red pen here and you should have let's check your answers compared to these okay so what is a tissue a tissue is a group of cells with similar structure and function if you got that right take it if not you need to change some of it then you're going to put an x on it say you didn't say structure so you said same similar shape. So imagine you have similar shape here. So then you're going to put your X through shape and you're going to write structure over like this. So make sure you're correct. Don't leave it wrong. Okay, I'm going to get you to now pause the video and do the re correct the rest of those. Okay, good. So you should only be playing the video if you have corrected those questions. Now we're going back to today's video. Okay, so... No. So let's recap. Each of these is an epithelial cell. Like this. We've seen this. This isn't new. Each of these is a epithelial cell. So they all have a nucleus and So this here is an epithelial cell. And together, these epithelial cells all make, what would they make? So I want you to speak your answer to the screen on three. One, two, three. Okay, together they make epithelial tissue. So together they make epithelial tissue. These are muscle cells. Each of these is a separate muscle cell. They are muscle cells. I know they're muscle cells. I can see the elastic fibers. Okay, so each of these is a muscle cell and they have slightly red color. For example, this here is a one muscle cell. The bigger structure is the group of muscle cells, and we call this muscle tissue. The job of the muscle tissue, what is it? On three, speak your answer to the screen. One, two, three. Open, you said it's to allow movement. This is a nerve cell. It's one nerve cell. This is a second nerve cell. So each one of these is a nerve cell. Okay, so this here is a nerve cell. Together, they make a group that we call 
nerve tissue, the nervous tissue. And together, these work to make bigger structure. These work together to make something we call organs. So groups of tissues make organs. I'm just gonna pause the video and move something here. Okay, so here you see the organ that these work together to make up the epithelial tissue, the muscle tissue and the nervous tissue join together and they work together to form the heart. And the heart is an example of an organ. So an organ is a group of tissues, a group of tissues performing a specific function. Specific function. That is what an organ is, a group of tissues performing a specific function. So the heart is a group of tissues that perform a specific function. The function of the heart is to pump blood around the body. These three tissues work together to make this happen. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I just want you to take down what is an organ, please. Okay, so an organ is a group of tissues performing a specific function. Now, in red, what I am doing here is I am going to highlight the muscle tissue of the heart. So in red, I am highlighting the muscle tissue of the heart. The muscle tissue of the heart, its job is to contract and make blood pump around the body. So the muscle tissue contracts to pump blood around the body. That is the job or the function of the muscle tissue. So it's shown in red here. So all of the walls of this organ, the heart, are made of muscle tissue. And its job is to pump blood, contracts, and relaxes, to force pump blood around the body. So this here is the muscle tissue. Okay, so this is muscle tissue of the heart. Muscle. What are you doing? Sorry, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Muscle tissue of the heart. Shown in red. Muscle tissue of the heart. The function of the muscle tissue of the heart is to contract. Contracts pump blood. That is the job of the muscle tissue in the heart. What I am drawing now is I am selecting a different color. I'm gonna select like this purpley color like this. And I am drawing the epithelial tissue. So it's this on the outside of the muscle. So it forms a layer on the outside of the muscle tissue. Here. It lines the muscle tissue, but it also lines the inside of the muscle tissue. So I'm drawing purple color on the inside of the muscle tissue. So it lines the inside of the muscle tissue and the outside of the muscle tissue. Like that. Okay. So this here is the epithelial tissue epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue. It's a group of epithelial cells. And the epithelial tissue of the heart, what does it do? It covers inside and outside of the heart muscle. Outside of heart muscle. So that is the job of the epithelial tissue in the heart. It covers the inside and the outside 
of the heart muscle. What I'm doing now is in white, I am drawing nervous tissue. So in the middle here, the heart, I'm drawing white for nervous tissue. And the nervous tissue starts as a round, you know, round structure up at the top and it travels down the middle of the heart and then it travels up to the left and up to the right. So this here, the white shows the nervous tissue of the heart. Nervous tissue of the heart. The job of the nervous tissue in the heart is to carry, carries electrical impulses from the brain to the heart. And what this does is it controls to control the heartbeat. So your heart beats an exact amount or mo you know, uh, it, it, I suppose it's not an exact, it's not the exact same amount every time, but it is controlled. It's a controlled amount every minute. So your heart beats it's a, in humans, it's around 70 times per minute. So it beats around 70 times every minute. And this is controlled by the electrical impulses that come from your brain to your heart. You don't actually have to think about this. You don't actually have to think, I need my heart to beat right now. Your brain controls this by electrical impulses. And it does this through the nervous tissue of the heart. So the heart is an organ. So organs are even more organized than cells. So, so far we know that this is how living things are organized. Cells join together to make tissues, which are bigger structures. Tissues, cells make tissues. Groups of tissues then organize together to make organs. So organs are bigger than tissues because they are made of groups of tissues, okay? Time to do some practice questions now. So, there yet, here we go. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and do questions number one to four now, please. Okay, so you should only be watching the video if you have paused and done number one to four. Here are the answers coming up. For number one, I am gonna do them now. You have to rank these in order. So you had, uh, Let's check again. You had tissue, organ, and cell. And you had to order. Um, I'm just checking the question here. I always check the question, starting with the smallest um, in order of size. So we need to start with the smallest and order our way up. So this is how I would write this. Cell is the smallest. So I'm starting with the smallest. The next smallest, cells go to tissues is the next smallest. Like this, and then organs. Now you could have written it like that. That would be correct. You could have also done a list and said that this was number one, this was number two, this was number three. You could have also done a list and said smallest, middle, biggest or largest, something like that. All of those are technically okay. Uh, I don't really like that last one. So I would avoid doing it like this if I was you. I would do it one of these ways. Or you could combine both like I have here, cell, tissue, and organ, and then put a number on them. What I want you to do is I want you to pause and correct the other three questions now, please. Well done, if you got those right. Uh, that proves to me that you are listening, which is great. All right, we have another little bit to do, and then I have some more practice for you. Okay, so just going over here, we have back to our heart. All right, so underneath that then, now, so we've learned about the heart and we will learn about this in greater detail in a future video. So you have the heart. Okay, and the heart works together with the arteries. So structures called arteries and veins. These together are known as blood vessels. So these two work together with the heart. Now, they're not the only things in this that work with the heart uh, 
the arteries and the veins. We also have the lungs. The lungs work together to help get some oxygen into our blood. So we've got our heart connected with our lungs. We then have the brain is involved because the brain controls our heartbeat. So each of these are different organs. Kidneys, they clean our blood. They filter it and they remove wastes. Uh, and all of these work together to make what we call an organ system. Well, this is an organ system because it's a group or a system of organs working together. This particular organ system is known as the circulatory system. Circulatory system because it circulates blood around the body. Circulates means sends it around in a circle. So it circulates blood around the body. So the heart, the arteries and veins, the lungs, the brain and the kidney are part of the circulatory organ system. Other organ systems in the body include the digestive system, which helps us break down our food. So digestive system. And there will be another video on this later, the digestive system. We also have the um, nervous system. And we have something called the reproductive system which helps us to reproduce and make more of ourselves. Reproductive system. Now this list is not exhaustive. That means that there are more than this. So I'm just telling you about these ones because these ones are relevant for us. Your body is much more complicated than we can ever describe in one video. So know that the heart, the arteries, veins, lungs, the brain and the kidney are organs that work together in an organ system called the circulatory system. This is what the circulatory system would look like. Okay, so in this case, this is the circulatory system. So as you can see, it's quite complicated. I don't want you to be afraid of that because that has a lot more than we're ever gonna need to know. And when we do the circulatory system, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna ignore the stuff that's kind of less important. We're just gonna focus on the things that are important. As you can see there, there's a lot of stuff. We've got the heart, We've got all of these arteries and veins, these tubes that carry blood. We've got the kidney shown here. We've got the lungs shown here. And the brain is obviously up here, but it's not particularly, it's not actually shown in this video. So all of these things work together to make the circulatory system. Okay, so don't worry about that too much for now. I'm just using it as an example so that you guys know what, the, what a system is. So a system is a group of organs working together to form a system. Now your, your body is made of many, many systems. So the whole organism is made of many, many systems. So let's see what we know now. So our level of organization goes from cells. Cells are the basic building blocks. They are what we start with. The next level of organization, cells form together to make tissues. Examples of tissues are muscle tissue, epithelial tissue, and nervous tissue. Cells uh, form tissues. Tissues then work together into groups to make larger structures called organs. An example of an organ is the heart, and the heart has, is composed of muscle tissue, epithelial tissue, and nervous tissue. Organs then make what we call systems. Example of this is the circulatory system, like we just learned about, the circulatory system. And then obviously all of the systems together make the entire organism. So that is an overview of how living things are organized to make these big complicated structures. So complicated is complicated when you consider the whole organism, but when we can break it down and figure out what the different layers are, it's relatively straightforward to understand. Okay, time to do some more practice now. Okay, so what I want you to do uh, here is I want you to pause the video and I want you to write out a paragraph to practice the keywords. So you should write out the full paragraph, fill in what you think are the blanks. The answers will follow, but make sure you practice these properly first. A key tip here is to do them in pencil and that will mean they're easier to fix or to rub out, or you can just cross them out, fix them in red pen. Okay, so pause the video on three, one, two, three.
Okay, now you should only be listening to me if you have paused the video and you have filled in the blanks, written out the full paragraph. Okay, so a group of cells, let's go through this, what should it read? A group of cells with similar structure and something is called a something. So structure and function sounds about right here, function. And when we have a group of similar cells with similar structure and function, we call it a tissue. So well done if you got that right. If you did get that right, guys, you should now be correcting them like this. Tick and tick, don't leave it blank. Okay, if you didn't get it, you need to write it in. A collection of tissues working together is called an, okay, so say you didn't know that one, what would you do here? Well, you would get your red pen, your correcting pen, and you would write it in in red to show that you didn't know it because that's important when you look back. That tells you what you need to focus on. A group, a collection of tissues working together is called an organ. Sorry, that should be one singular, not organs. Right. The heart has something cells that work together to make muscle something. Well, if it's muscle something, this is going to be a muscle tissue. And muscle tissue is made of muscle cells. Like that. Which contract and relax to something blood. Okay, so this is the heart. What does the heart do? The heart pumps blood. So well done if you said that. If you said moves blood, I suppose we learned that muscle is its job is to move. So if you said moves blood, I suppose it's not too bad, but technically pumps is correct there. Okay. Many epithelial something work together to make something tissue. So that would be epithelial cells, and they work together to make epithelial tissue. So if they're epithelial cells, then you will get epithelial tissue, which lines the something and something of the heart wall. I know what that is. That's both inside and outside. So inside and outside of the muscle of the heart wall. The heart contains a collection of something cells working together to make nervous something. Okay, well, if it's nervous, then it's going to be nerve cells and it's going to be nervous tissue. Great job if you got that right. And it does what with the heartbeat? So what's the job of the nervous cells in the, in the heart? Mm, oh, yeah, I remember now. It was to control the heartbeat. So the heartbeat is controlled by the nervous tissue again. You should either be correcting these or you should be fixing them. So tick or fix like this. Don't tick it if it's wrong. Okay, only tick it if it's right. If it's wrong, fix it with a red pen. The heart, arteries, veins, something and brain form the, well, I know what system that is. That's the circulatory system. Circulatory system. And what is missing from there? Heart, arteries, veins. Um, I think it is uh, lungs. The lungs are part of the circulatory system. You could have also had kidneys because kidneys filter the blood. The heart, arteries, veins, lungs, and brain form the uh, circulatory system. There are many other systems in an organism that should be systems in an organism, such as the nervous, reproductive, and something system. So what's missing there from the ones I told you? Oh, yeah, that's digestive digestive system well done if you got those right guys i'm going to stick up the uh, these are the answers here okay so here are them if you need to see them typed it might be neater than my writing and you see the answers are highlighted in yellow pause the video and make your corrections now all right very good well done we're moving on last uh, oh that's it guys yeah so um that's it for today's lesson uh, i hope that you found this useful if you did guys please give the video a like it will help other students uh, who might need help with this to find it. And if you found it useful for any reason, like if you found it useful in watching uh, another video that doesn't give you practice, maybe stick a comment in down below and explain to other people, you know, why this is useful, why it's easy to follow. Um, if you want me to do a video on any particular topic, do stick that in the comments down below as well. And I'll know what you guys need help with and I can make a video for you. Okay, I'll see you in the next video, guys.